The Rock is getting exposed for his role in the Maui wildfires and the internet is coming for him. Okra got exposed for her role in the destruction of the island, and now The Rock is next on the list. After the two posted a video, fans got to speculating and they finally cracked the code about what might actually be going on behind closed doors. According to fans, The Rock is just as responsible for the wildfires as Oprah is. Now some of you might be wondering how Oprah is involved. Well, don't worry because we will tell you all about that. Allegedly, the wildfires were all planned only so the Hollywood elites could steal the land of the natives because of how expensive and valuable it is. The elites have been trying to buy the land for a really long time, but the natives had always refused because they had had that land for centuries in their families. Lahaina Front Street is worth billions. The Hawaiians that have been holding out and the Kanaka have been holding out for years not wanting to sell their property. So when the elites like Oprah and Dwayne got sick of it, they decided to set fire to the island to try and get the land. If you're new here, you are watching Celebrity Buzz, and today we are going to be talking about how The Rock accidentally exposed himself along with Oprah for being involved in the Maui wildfires. But before we get to talking about all of that, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And there goes the house I lived in for a month. Now first let's talk about the whole thing that happened in Maui. The authorities put out a statement where they told the public about the reason behind the wildfires that wiped out properties on the island. According to them, the fires were caused by Hurricane Dora and the winds carried with them. Combine that with the ongoing drought conditions on the island and you get disaster. Now this is not something that the residents of the island didn't know. They always knew that the island had a high risk of wildfires because of the tropical conditions on the island. But something about this incident didn't really make sense to anyone, and there were a lot of things that happened that made the residents question everything. We are going to talk about all of these things in today's video, but first, we need to tell you guys about the video that Oprah and The Rock posted. Now some of you might know that Oprah has been visiting the people affected by the wildfires and trying to help them out. You see entire families who've lost every single thing they have and they're living on the air mattress and a cot and a chair. The people think that there's more to the story than meets the eye. According to People, the only reason she is doing so much work is so that people don't get suspicious of her role in the wildfires. She didn't listen to anything that the people on the internet were saying and kept showing up to camps dressed like she was going to be on the cover of a magazine with her larger-than-life hat and long boots. But what she did just now along with The Rock really made people lose it for the two. Oprah and Dwayne posted a video to their social media platforms talking about the current situation in Maui. Now we know what most of you would be thinking right now and yes, it is a good thing to raise awareness about the issue. But that is not what these two people were doing. You see in the video, Oprah talks about how they have set up a donation and people could donate to the people affected by the wildfires. And if that wasn't bad enough, the two stars also urged people to donate and help out the people of Maui. We have created the People's Fund of Maui. So if you send a donation, just click where you see below and send a donation. This wouldn't have been a bad thing. We think all of us could offer help to our friends in Maui in these trying times. Except for the fact that The Rock and Oprah are literal multi-millionaires and have more than enough money to help the people if they wanted. So begging for money from people like us, who are hardly getting by themselves in today's world with inflation, was literally just ridiculous. It just showed how out of touch they were with reality. As soon as they posted that video, the internet lost its mind and started calling them out on their ridiculous ways. Please don't tell me I just saw a billionaire standing next to a multi-millionaire begging the average everyday citizen for donations that can barely get by. And while all of this was going on, some people began to speculate about why they would even post such a thing. You see, these people have publicists and managers who could have easily told them that it was a bad idea. So there's definitely something going on here that they don't want us to see. But before we get to telling you all about that, Make sure to share this video with a friend who might enjoy our content and give this video a big thumbs up while you're at it too. Now let's get back to exposing some Hollywood elites. We have created the People's Fund of Maui. 
that will put money directly in the hands of the people who need it right now. So what are these elites trying to distract us from? Well, according to many conspiracy theorists and fans, and even residents of Maui, it was the elites that set fire to the island and blamed it on Hurricane Dora. There is a lot going on here, so you gotta sit tight through this one. But before we spill the beans, we just wanna say that these are all just theories and not facts, and we urge you guys not to make up theories as it could be insensitive to the victims of the fires. We are just reporting to you guys what the word on the streets is, and that's our job. Now there are a lot of signs that tell us that these wildfires might not have been as natural as we had thought. The first thing that people noticed was how the warnings for the wildfires weren't given correctly this time. You see, this wasn't the first time something like this has happened to people in Maui, so they know the whole drill, and the residents talked about how the warnings weren't given in due time. This made it a lot harder for people to escape while also taking their belongings. Unfortunately, a lot of people had to either lose their lives or give up all their belongings. The situation was so bad that according to two teenagers and their mother, they had to abandon everything they owned and had to jump into the ocean to save their life. But unfortunately, not everyone was as lucky as them. Only oh, takes Jan won't believe it. Yes, he will. Yeah, he will, yeah. Now the way the elites like Oprah and The Rock are involved is interesting. You see, according to some residents, these elites have been trying to buy properties in Maui for a very long time, especially in Lahaina, which is the neighborhood most affected by the fires. This neighborhood has some of the most expensive properties on the island, but the natives were never willing to sell their houses. And I just want to remind all you real estate investors around the world, like the Lahaina is not for sale. This is why the elites decided to set fire to their homes, so they would have no other option but to sell their land and move away. It is an evil plan, but one that could work really well. Even real estate investors were involved in this plan. Now, some of the elites like Oprah already own properties on the island, and surprisingly, none of these elite-owned properties were harmed in the wildfires. It seems like they were left unscathed during the whole disaster, which makes the whole thing a lot more suspicious. Another theory that some fans have is that this might have been a sacrifice done by the elites for fame and fortune. And that was all we had time for in today's video. Do you think Oprah and The Rock are just trying to cover up the fact that they were involved in the wildfires? Who else do you think might get exposed next? Let us know all your thoughts and predictions in the comment section below. And no, oh, before you leave, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads. And with all of that said, as always, we will catch up with you in our next video with some new juicy gossip about your favorite celebrities.